Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain you about types of stainless steel. So friends, let's begin. Friends, there are five types of stainless steel. First is austenitic stainless steels. Second is ferritic stainless steels. Third is martensitic stainless steels. Fourth is pre precipitation hardening stainless steels. And fifth is duplex stainless steel. So friends, let's see one by one each of each type of stainless steel. For first, uh, we will see uh, something about uh, stainless steels here, friends. When nickel is added in the steel, for instance, the austenite structure of iron is stabilized. Okay, this crystal structure makes such steels virtually non-magnetic and less brittle at low temperatures. For greater hardness and strength, more carbon is added. With proper heat treatment, these steels are used for razor blades, cutlery tool and tools. Significant quantities of manganese have been used in many stainless steel com compositions. Manganese preserves an austenitic structure in the steel at a low cost than nickel. Stainless steels are also classified by their crystalline structure. Okay, now friends, here first is uh, Austenitic stainless steels 300 series. These stainless steels make up over 70% of the total stainless steel production. These steels are non-magnetic. Okay, these steels, austenitic stainless steels are non-magnetic in annealed conditions. They cannot be hardened by heat treatment. They can be hot worked or cold worked. They contain a maximum of 0.15% carbon, a minimum of 16% chromium and sufficient nickel and manganese to retain an austenite structure at all temperatures from the cryogenic region to the melting point of the alloy. These steels are specified as AISI202. 302, 304, 1, 316, 321, etc. They are non-magnetic, soft, ductile, malleable in character. The corrosion resistance of this group of steels is superior to ferritic and martensitic stainless steels. These steels are used for, for food and chemical plants, tubular ex exchangers, sanitary fittings, aircraft heaters, domestic and industrial utensils. Further, next is friends, ferritic stainless steels. Here, ferritic stainless steels are plain chromium stainless steels with varying chromium content between 11% and 18% but with low carbon 0.08 to 0.2 percent content they have a moderate good corrosion resistance okay moderate good corrosion resistance ferritic stainless steels have these steels are not hardenable by heat treatment by martensitic transformation due to the absence of austenite phase okay at any temperature the only annealing heat treatment is suitable for ferritic stainless steels. So only annealing heat treatment. These steels can be moderately hardened by cold working. These steels are specified as AISI 405, 430 and 446. They are magnetic, soft, ductile, malleable in character. These steels are widely used for furnace parts food industries, pressure vessels, heaters, juice carrying pipes in sugar industries, pots and pans. Further friends here, next is martensitic stainless steels. Martensitic stainless steels are commercially developed for cutlery purposes. They are plain chromium steels containing between 12 to 18 percent chromium high carbon content 0.1 to 1.2 percent compared to other grades of stainless steels the stainless steel is of uh, here friends it has moderate corrosion resistance okay 
moderate corrosion resistance which can be hardened by heat treatment resulting in high strength and hardness okay it has poor weldability and mag is magnetic okay it is magnetic martensitic stainless steel is a magnetic one okay these steels are specified as ai si 403 410 416 420 501 and 502 it is commonly used for knife blades, surgical instruments, shafts, turbine blades, paper machinery parts, spindles and pins. Okay. Next is, four, that is our fourth type is precipitation hardening stainless steels. Here friends, the precipitation hardening stainless steels are iron nickel chromium alloys containing one or more precipitation hardening element such as aluminium, titanium, copper, niobium and molybdenum. The precipitation hardening is achieved by the relatively simple aging treatment simple aging treatment is used for precipitation hardening here friends of the fabricated part the two main characteristics of all precipitation hardening stainless steels are high strength and high corrosion resistance high strength is achieved at the expense of toughness okay the corrosion resistance of precipitation hardening stainless steels is comparable to the at of the standard a ISI 304 and AISI 316 austenitic alloys. Here, friends, now the aging treatments are designed here to optimize strength, corrosion resistance, and toughness. Okay, further to improve toughness, the amount of carbon is kept low. The precipitation hardening process involves the formation precipitation of very fine intermetallic phases such as Ni3Al, Ni3Ti, Ni3AlTi, Ni3Al, Ni3Nb, Ni3Cu carbides. Prolonged aging causes the coarsening of these intermetallic phases which in turn causes the decline in strength due to the fact that dislocations can bypass coarse intermetallic phases. These steels used for bulkheads, nibs, skins and other structural parts. Okay. Now further here friends, next is fifth type is duplex stainless steels. These steels contain relatively high chromium 18 to 28 percent and moderate amounts of nickel 4.5 to 8 percent. The nickel content is insufficient to generate a fully austenitic structure and the resulting combination of fer ferritic and austenitic structure is called duplex. Okay, The combination of ferritic and austenitic structure is called here duplex. Most duplex steels contain molybdenum in a range of 2.5 to 4 percent these have a high resistance to stress corrosion cracking and chloride ion attacks they have a higher tensile and ill strength than austenitic of ferritic steels as well as good weldability and formability they are commonly used in marine applications desalination plants, heat exchangers and petrochemical plants. So friends, in this video we have seen types of stainless steels here. Thank you friends for watching this video. Like, share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.